Did Patrick Johnson improve from the Arnold Classic UK to the Mr. Olympia event earlier on this year? Of course, he did play second at that Arnold Classic UK. And then, of course, he did go on to win the uh, Yamamoto France. And there was no pictures of that. So it's too gosh darn bad we didn't get to see that version of Patrick Johnson versus this Olympia version. Now, I've seen a lot of people request this one and claim that he was 10 pounds I think you guys said maybe 15 pounds or something ridiculous heavier at the Olympia than the uh, Arnold UK this is part of your you pick Tuesday lineup you guys requested this one and that's why I'm doing it otherwise I don't think I would do it because you guys may say he was 10 pounds bigger some people said not everybody but there is no way guys if anything he is bigger at the Arnold UK. Look at that, guys. 2022 for both, obviously. Seems a little sharper. A little lighter, if anything. So, maybe the uh, information was upside down, I think. Perhaps. Let's go through these shots. And yeah, if anything, he's 10 pounds down. His wheels look bigger at the Arnold UK. This is a front lat spread, guys. And he's leaning back. He's holding his head down. He's holding his head back, I should say. That just creates more of a lat illusion of more lats. Hey, the guy is full of lats. I like Patrick Johnson. And that's why I didn't really see a point of doing this. I don't think that he made the improvements of leaps and bounds worthy of a comparison. But hey, if it gets the guy's name out there, I feel that I've done my work here. Turn to the side. And I, I noticed a lot of the pictures from the Arnold UK. They were tilted dousedly. So yeah, the angle's off a little bit. Looks like he's more shredded, more peeled, maybe better muscle separation. But there is no way, shape, or form, guys, that he's 15 pounds difference here. There's just no way. If anything, they're very similar, very close. Of course, that hanging hamstring shows up more. The Arnold UK, I think that's the, uh, the angle of the shot. Here's a side tricep. So yeah, you tell me. Where's the 15 pounds? I just do not see it, guys. I just don't see it. He has a big man's manly chest there at the uh, Arnold UK. Bigger and manlier than it is at the Olympia. Of course, that is angle of the shot. That's, well, more the posture that he's hitting the shot at. Not really the angle of the shot. But, you know, guys, similar midsection. If anything, his wheels looked a little bit bigger at the Arnold. Let's turn around because, guys... If we haven't seen it already, we're not going to see it. Patrick Johnson was not that much bigger. And in fact, if you put him on a scale, I think he would be heavier here at the Arnold UK. I would say for sure. Is he as dry? No. I think he has more detail in the hammies, baby please. Pa-ra-pa! Louis Marco. And uh, yeah, overall, maybe better separation in the back. Maybe. Maybe. And that's tops with maybe. More quad sweep. from Even from behind, you can see here from the Arnold UK. Go to the rear double, guys. And again, you guys could have selected a better one for you pick Tuesday. But that's what makes my channel what it is. Doesn't matter what it is. If you guys requested it, and it makes it to the, the poll, and the original video gets the 500 likes, I will do every one, even this one. Look at his back, guys. His back has improved. If you had a time machine, you go back in time because his back is, I don't want to say his back got worse. Like this guy. Like this guy indeed. One of my favorite of the new breeds. Bodybuilders. New guys hitting the scene. But no way in shape or form did he. It's only been a couple of months, guys. I think he was happy just to, here's the absent eye. I think he was happy just to make that Olympia debut. Got it under his belt. It was a circus, guys. There was so many dudes there. And the judges, realistically, they probably only had their eye on guys that did not lose during the year. I mean, Patrick already lost to Andrew Jack. But then he came back, redeemed himself, but it's already in the mind of the judges. Hey, what can you say, guys? The abs look maybe even better at the Arnold. And here's the most muscular. Whew, we made it through, guys. And some of these comparison videos are a little bit trickier. You guys might think there's a lot of YouTube channels out there, a lot of great ones. I appreciate the guys that, you know, former bodybuilders. 
Like uh, Nick Trujillo, the guy knows his stuff. Dave Palumbo, he knows his stuff. And then there's the Nick Strength and Powers, more of a fan's perspective. And then your Mark's Max Muscles, more of a fan's perspective. But my goal is to entertain. And if I can be funny sometimes, saying, you know, goofy words, woozle wazzle, bucka bucka. Hey, that's funny stuff. That's funny stuff. If I can put a smile on your face, I guess. That's that's talking through a comparison, I guess, and uh, filling some air. But yeah, Patrick Johnson, you could switch these around, and I, I there's there's no difference, guys. There's no difference. Okay, I'll tell you the difference, and I hate to do this, but his quads seem to be bigger at the Olympia or at the Arnold, at the Arnold, not at the Olympia, at the Arnold. But there's a lot of things involved with that lighting angle, <laughs> maybe. Maybe he didn't train as hard as he wanted to going into the Olympia. The guy knows, you know, it's going to be a better season this year. So, you know, hit her, hit her hard, as they say, Patrick Johnson. 2023, going to be the year of this dude. He's going to get top 10 next year at the Olympia, I would say. I would say. Anyway, guys, hit thumbs up on the video. Love and appreciate all your views. If you need any requests done urgently urgently then uh the comment section is no way to go guys because i can't see all those requests you gotta hit me up on instagram or something of that nature hit thumbs up on the video guys subscribe have a nice one